All right, so welcome to January. I would say Happy New Year, but you're now watching this in February. The wine detail vlog, it's I'm, a bit of variation. I'm gonna capture smaller, but lots of, for the four weeks of the month, and then compile it into a, a monthly episode. I think I did too much last year, took too much on, didn't really have time for anything else. Um, so the idea here is 12 main vlogs, January vlog, February vlog, with most of the things that go on during the week, during the month. And then in between that, there might be smaller episodes, maybe some how-tos and some other stuff like that. So kicking things off, um, there's the M Coupe, that's my project car for the time being. Through next door is a Nano Grey, not a Nardo Grey, Nano Grey. I'll show you the paint colour on that later. Audi S3, that's been here for the new car prep. Then outside, you can hear probably Terry is busy washing a Riviera Blue Porsche Macan GTS. Good afternoon, what details? Very well, thank you. Sales. Uh, very well, yeah, good. It's, it's two, sorry. five litres, some bathe, and then that's it. Day six of the January vlog. I feel disgusting. Severe case of man flu is now turned into man thrax. And I'm dying. Pretty good progress this week on the new car preps. The Audi has been picked up now, We're left with the Riviera Porsche. Today's process for this, it needs to be blown down to remove any loose contamination before being prepped with Gion Prep uh, in readiness for the Mortilaire Ceramic Mohs Plus paint protection. My first outing with the new Gion base um, is lovely, it really is. Basically, it's the new certified only ceramic protection. And look at the bottle. As far as bottles go, I'm not a big bottle perv or anything, but that's really smart. Usually, Mose, which is still available 
would be two layers of this before before applying phobic, which is the top coat. Um, so instead of going two and then one, so three in total, this is down to one coat. So it's one coat, one coat, not two coat, one coat, which is a big time saving. Day eight, January, minus two degrees this morning. Riviera Blue Cayman, KN, McCann, GTS complete after this new car prep. Uh, you can hear outside there's a new car in for this week. Three days at Discovery 4 here for a minor correction. I need to now run around, uh, quickly run around the McCann and then join Terry outside for the wet work. The floor is freezing beneath us. Good for moonwalking though. <laughs> After a little skating outside, the water freezes as it hits the floor, the water freezes as it hits the car. The car is inside. Decontamination, the clay bar. Car focus. Vehicle has covered, uh, I think, 30,000 miles. The orange tinge on the side here. Plenty of pickup seen. Now it's gonna be blown dry. On the ramp, wheels come off. And investigate the paint.
taking a look over the Discovery 4. The vehicle is four years old, 30,000 miles on the clock, and it is Chorus Grey, I believe. Great colour, it's a great spec. So it's in a real good shape. To be honest, the booking is a minor paint correction with paint protection. The vehicle has recently had some paint work. Now straight away, you can hopefully see what I'm about to show you. Top of the driver's door, if I stay still but zoom. You see the mess on the top here? These are induced by rotary polishing. Swirls, scrolls. So this whole side has been painted. If we look closer, they're actually not terribly deep scores, but moderately deep scores on this, um, which will be lifted out with a cutting pass. So this is after someone's polished the car. All good intentions of improving the finish, but actually, yeah, if you check the quality of your work and IPA panel, wipe the panel down afterwards, you would find even here, light buffer trails underneath the handle here. Nice patch of sanding marks, denibbing sanding marks there in the middle. Similar on the rear door, clustered there. Light buffer trails on the edge of the door, vertical this time. Up and down movements there. Underneath the handle. Notice how I've turned off the bed lights, by the way, it's easier on certain colours, it's easier actually to inspect the vehicle under forced lights uh, with the bed lights turned off. In fact, let's try and do a demonstration. If I show you this panel here, again, rotary buffer marks, pretty bad. This lip is always an intricate section to get into. You've got to get either the edge of the three or the hybrid. I prefer to get the hybrid in there. You can see, if you look at that panel now, leave the exposure on the camera the same, you can pretty much see what we're dealing with. Turn the light on. Okay, not a great example, you can still see. Um, but you get what I mean. It, uh, the bed lights do wash out the finish sometimes, making it more difficult to see. All right, so this is Monday to Wednesday's job this week, Thursday to Friday. There's a very similar color BMW coming in, uh, which you'll find out more about later in the week. On the whole, the light cluster is looking a lot better after that single cutting pass. But as you can see in the black here, how hazy it is because of the aggressive cutting. Uh, so the plastics now needs refined down. Looks like what happened on the paintwork. In fact, whilst I've still got you, let's do that now. After a refining pass later, that's looking brand new. A little bit hazy, it's not been buffed. Uh, it's not been IPA yet either, to be honest, so. But from what it was, that's a nice transformation. Much more of a crystal look on the back end now. Just wasn't forget to do the tooth pickery on the, the injection mold circle there. Get the tooth picking up later to pull out the polish. Same applies for here. Uh, and then get them coated with the rest of the paintwork. Poor. Yes, I'm pretty so. <laughs> Mid-morning on day nine, and what I showed you this morning with the marks on the offside, the paint's responded well. This is the side that's been painted, the whole side has been painted. You remember the buffer trail on the top here? There was the clusters further down, that's all eliminated. These here, they've been eliminated. That's looking a lot sharper, a lot tidier. So now the whole vehicle waits on clutch, no, refining. Uh, we can start thinking about paint protection, wheels, and interior, but for now, it's dinner time. Yay! Oh, by the way, the wheelie stalls have multiplied. This was the second one I bought, and this has been the third one I bought. It's just a, not a much uh, smoother, but what it has left. 
What it has left is the old jalopy surplus to requirements. Um, uh, rather than scrapping it, I mean, if someone wants to come and take it away free of charge from the unit, get in touch, you're more than welcome. It's just, you can hear how noisy it is. If you want it, you're welcome to it. Give us a shout, get in touch, come take it away. Might even sign it for you as well. Jim was here. Tell what it is yet? Yeah? Nothing wrong to it, will it? Should have a GoPro strapped to me, it shouldn't really. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Right. I'm going going in. in. The Red Company. Yes, Terry. Look at this. That's hey. a system. Jeez, that's a rather substantial. <laughs> it will. Yeah, to all those bucket haters. Yeah. All right, so we have. Oh, the ones you want, okay, so the yeah, these are the E365 in your favourite colour, blue. Uh, we've been using the E365 on the most part residue removal from the refining stage. It really does make a big difference to the refining stage. And here we have a selection of. This is the new Everest. Oh, excuse me. New. Everest, Eagle, 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 excellent, and three dry smitten bits. I have to roll my sleeves up for this one. <coughs> Ooh, heck. You can tell what that one's for. Yep. What up, G? I've just realized I'm not wearing the mic, so all of this, I'm hoping you you're hearing it okay. These are the brick guards that go at an angle. Yeah. 45 degree ones. Mm. No. T-shirt and look at this. The rag coat. The rag coat. Hey, you got to wear it now. There we go. Suppose a bit of spin into this. <sighs> Tell you what. That's cool. <laughs> that was cool. What a good match. Look how coordinated here. Probably benefit from a wash. At the minute it feels like I'm inside of a inside of a cardboard box. It's a bit hard. So there we go. Right, actually I'm gonna keep this on and layer up. The trouble is now. Oh you're still in view. 
Jeff, Levi, Dane and Anthony, if you aren't aware of the Rad Company guys already, do go definitely check out their gear, check out their pages, their social medias. Uh, I did a video on uh, myself just before Christmas about some of the range. Take that off now. But we'll update on the new Eagle and the Everest and the additional 365s so as time goes on. All right, here we go then. It's a new year, so we got some new buckets finally, as we'll keep. A lot of you happy. The poor old buckets, the wash buckets, they've been troopers for the last 10 years, to be honest. Yay! All right, that's the old rinse bucket. Your wash bucket. Look, look. Does that affect you? Look. <laughs> look at it. That's dead. So the old wash bucket is going to now be the wheel bucket. Then we have the Rack Company wash rinse with the extended 45 degree grit guard scenario to be replacing them. God damn it. Oh, it's because of that rim. Oh, you want to come off now? <laughs> Take two. Oh! I think the best way to do it is put your foot in it and pull up. That way you need something to. It's not going to come off, is it? That Somebody whacked it on with a hammer, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, they did. <laughs> Easy. See if you can get through it. Somebody will climb through that. Yeah. Oh, you're never going to get it past yeah. the middle. <laughs> Alright, try it. There we are. That goes there. So if anyone wants two buckets, you're welcome. Yeah, Jim White buckets set the auction them off. They've, they've washed thousands of cars. Yeah, there. Jim White, ex Jim White buckets. I wonder how many cars they have washed. Have you had them from the beginning? For 10 years? From the beginning. Wow, they're originals. F5. Yay! I just had an idea. No, not another one. You know. Alright, back to work. Forward. Right, where's your rubbish? Yeah. Let's shoot Hula. Do, do what? Hula. Can you do some funny old Hula that you did? to be a customer not wanting to take that car outside after the work it's a shame to get it anything other than it is currently it's obviously gonna wash nice it's gonna stay nice it's gonna be nice there's the correct safe wash and the correct chemicals and the usage and the know-how and but it's just a shame what a shame that said it's a driving car uh, today 18th of Jan tomorrow forecast to be okay in the afternoon so what I'm hoping to do is for the after footage vlog for this. Uh, you won't see that in this episode, but I hope to get some sort of rolling shots and get some nice, nice after footage of it. Mineral Grey 330D Touring, this is it. This is here for the Gion Quartz. Mose Plus new car detail. Real nice colour, Mineral Grey. 
These are winter wheels. They've already been coated by the owner. You can see it's got alloy gaiters on as well. They've actually taken an impact, so some of them are worse than others. <laughs> Look, obviously doing the job. The wheels have been off though because the calipers wanted coating, so they came off. The summer set of wheels, which are through next door, they were coated. Uh, full interior treatments, leather care, coral red interior, nice place to be. Uh, exterior glass coating, as I say, and Jumbo's Plus. January 22nd. Um, did you like to buy my G63? Hello, sorry to interrupt. Okay, right. The Mercedes vlog, reviewing the footage, which you'll hear more in detail about later. I touch on how the audio on some of the files is corrupt. It's as though I think I had water on my hands and it got onto the mic and it was just, it, you couldn't, it was unwatchable. Um, I tried, 22 of my Patreons have seen the edited version where I try to narrate, I try to repeat what I'm saying on the video, what I think I'm saying on the video, and dub it over the top of the video. It didn't work, it was just a bit weird and uncomfortable to watch. But basically the Merc was in for the full white detail package, it was a uh, a seven day booking, uh, five days for the two of us, and I, I did the Saturday, Sunday to finalize things, and sort the interior and the paint protection. Massive turnaround, epic turnaround. It's uh, a capital car, it lives on the streets of London. Came up for the treatments especially, um, and picked up by one very delighted owner. It returned as new. As a car wash victim, it was, as you can imagine, heavily, heavily scratched, but that itself has its own uh, vlog to follow. There'll be a 30 to 40 minute vlog episode on that. So something to something to the careful. Ledgy car. Received in the post is a replacement BMW badge. This is for the boot, for the back end. I actually sourced some. The back end has prongs, two prongs, male prongs that need female bits to go on. The mine wasn't as deep as this badge and basically it wasn't sitting flush. So I sourced a new one from a breakers yard, I believe. Although it's a lot better than my last because of the it is a little bit scratched up. 
but this is fine because it's about to meet the hybrid. Give that some of that, put that on there, and give it some of this. I'm trying not to polish my fingers. Actually, easier when it's on the car. One more. One more. Yep, yep, yep. Right, refine that down. Where's the white pad? Just had it. Go again. Do 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 Why did you let it go? Cause it bit my fingers so Hey Terry. Hello. Hello. You know you said you feel like rotting your teeth. What? You know you said you feel like rotting your teeth today. Oh God. We have this little fella. This, this is. is what you like for Christmas. Yep. Yeah, this is courtesy of Edward Philippa and David Hall. I'm gonna smash it. Where's he gone? Oh man. Can you drop it? Oh no. Panzer. No, five second rule. Good. There we go, January's episode complete. This is a little bit different. This you've not seen before. This is where the magic happens. Uh, it is Saturday night, it's 10 p.m. The January vlog, I'm gonna call it there. I've just realized how much work I've got ahead of me for the, the Mercedes vlog itself. That will be having a 30, 40 minute episode to itself. Just need to get my head around what I'm gonna do with the audio because looking at the footage for this yeah reviewing the most part of the talking stuff the audio has a microphone issue so hopefully not going to be a problem ongoing hopefully it's not a uh, terminal issue maybe just water in the mic but that needs investigating and looking into let me know if you've enjoyed this slot this episode uh, the last four weeks it's been it's actually interesting looking back you forget how quick the time flies uh, four weeks ahead from now. Uh, next week was supposed to be a Bentley Brooklyn's for the white detail, but unfortunately they've had to postpone and reshuffle to a later date. Their business is very much involved with Carillion, the construction company that's currently struggling with debts and all that good stuff. So they've had to, they've been affected and as a knock on effect, they've had to uh, let us down, cancel. But in its place, there's been, it's a pan blue Audi RS6 penciled in and then a Fiat 500, a bath for a new car prep. But the, the three weeks of February, there are three white details to look forward to, and then a new car prep in the middle thrown in the mix. Halfway through that footage, you saw the M Coupe, that's my own car. After footage of that will be another episode in good time. The first day we have dry roads, um, I will be hopefully getting out in the car and actually getting some after footage and some rolling shots, some video. Wasn't gonna make a start on the Mercedes vlog now, but looking how shattered and drained I look, to be honest, it's perhaps best I get a cup of tea 
and go straight to bed. Rock and roll, hey? If you've liked the video, please give a thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe for plenty more videos to come.